In India, people depend on diverse water sources like rain, rivers, streams, springs, open wells, bow wells. Have you ever wondered how much it costs to tap water from these sources like springs and wells? Let's peep into the water situation in three villages in the Nilgiris with different water supply systems. A village dependent on spring source for water. During monsoon, throughout the day, more water flows from the spring to the village. In summer, throughout the day, much less water flows from the spring to the village. Supplying water to families in such a village that depends only on spring includes expense borne by the government, include building a check dam, pipeline, village storage tank, regular diesel ting work to protect the source. Additionally, households also bear expenses such as cost of storage facilities, cost of water filters, and time spent by people to collect water and to repair pipelines. A village dependent on an open well for water. Motor is operated by a village pump operator appointed by the panchayat. During monsoon, well water is supplied at a regulated timings both in the morning and evenings to the village. During summer, well water is supplied at a regulated timing either in the mornings or evenings for a shorter duration to the village. Households hire private water tankers to meet their water demand. Supplying water to families in such a village that depends only on an open well includes expense borne by government, include digging an open well, electric motor and a motor room, pipeline, village storage tank, regular repair of pipelines to ensure the regular supply of water. Additionally, households also bear expenses such as storage facilities, water filters and hiring water in private tankers. A village dependent on a spring and an open well for water. During monsoon, well water is supplied at a regulated timings both in the mornings and evenings to the village. In addition to this, spring water is available throughout the day with more flow. During summer, well water is supplied at a regulated timings either in the mornings or evenings for a lesser duration to the village. In addition to this, spring water which is available throughout the day with less flow. Supplying water to families in such a village that depends on spring and open well includes expense borne by the government, include building a check dam for the spring source, digging an open well, electric motor and a motor room, pipeline, village storage tank, regular desilting work to protect spring source, and repair of pipelines to ensure the regular supply of water. Additionally, households also bear expenses such as storage facilities, water filters, and time spent by the people to collect water and repair of pipelines. It is indeed surprising to know the efforts that get pulled in to deliver water which is one of the most basic needs of people and wildlife. Well, it seems that water we receive at our houses is not free of cost and it has some value in terms of money and time we spend to access it. Often we do not recognize the full cost of supplying water. We can see that the people in villages which are completely or partially dependent on springs spend less money and time to access water than villages which has open well as the only source of water. Let us take a moment to realize the stability and reliability of natural springs which is under the threat of disappearance due to changes in land use in the spring shed areas.